What's going on guys, it's Junior here, and today I'm gonna show you how to build an API using Node.js and Express and MySQL. So we're gonna be using Node.js, Express, and Persistence, and for that, we're gonna be using MySQL so that we can save our data in a database. And once we're done building the application, we're gonna go ahead and deploy it. And to do this, we're gonna be using Docker, so we're gonna Dockerize the application and then deploy it on a little server or something, just so that we can see it live. So we're gonna be doing a lot of cool things today, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to do is to go over the software that you need to have installed so that you can follow along with this course. So I'm going to go ahead and open my browser. And the first thing you need to have installed on your computer is Node.js. So I'm going to go ahead and type Node.js. It should be the first thing that comes up here, as you can see, Node.js.org, and just click on that. And you should be presented with a screen that looks similar to this. And all you have to do is to just click one of these green buttons and then download the version that you want. You can download either version, doesn't really matter in this situation. So feel free to download whatever version you want, either the one that's recommended for most users or the latest features. And whatever that version is, whenever you're watching this video, you can just download it, it should be just fine. So Node.js is gonna be the main thing that you're gonna to need to have installed on your computer. Now, as you saw in the beginning, I'm not on a Windows computer, I'm actually on my Linux machine, and I have the i3 window manager, and that's why my screen looks like this. And because I'm on my Linux, I like to use Vim, so I'm gonna use Vim as my code editor. So let's search for Vim on Google, and it should be that second one, the one that says vim.org. And I think if you go to this download link here, you should be able to download it for your operating system. So that's what I'm going to be using for my text editor. And I'm going to be using an HTTP client that's called HTTP Pi. So you can just search HTTP Pi and it should be the first one that comes up here. So HTTP Pi.io. And that's the HTTP client that I'm going to be using. Now, one thing I want to say is that Vim has a big learning curve and I know most of you guys won't be using it. And you can actually use Visual Studio Code. So if users search for Visual Studio Code or VS Code, it should be that first link here. And you can just download Visual Studio Code and then follow along. And I'm sure you guys already have Visual Studio Code installed on your computer already. So you can just use that because I know that Vim has a big learning curve. But if you're familiar with Vim or you know Vim, you're comfortable with it, then just use Vim if you want. And then instead of HTTP Pi, which is a terminal driven HTTP client, you can actually use Postman or Insomnia. So I'm going to show you guys Postman, which I'm pretty sure you already know already. So you can use Postman, just Google Postman, and then go to the one that says postman.com. And you can see they have a nice UI that you can use. So if you don't want to use something in the terminal, then you can just use Postman or Insomnia or any other UI HTTP client that you want. And then if you don't want to use Vim, then feel free to use Visual Studio Code or any other fancy ID that you want. But in my case, I'm going to use Vim and then HTTP Pi for my HTTP client. And really the only thing everyone needs to have installed is the uh, Node.js runtime. So make sure you have Node.js install whatever the version that you see whenever you're watching this video it should be fine just install either one of these so just click on this green button and uh, then install node on your computer so once you have node install and you have a text editor and an HTTP client you should be good to go 